All right, in problem 13, we have first year students enrolled at a college that were asked whether they play video games. The response is classified whether the students were enrolled in the School of Sciences or the, or the School of Arts and are shown in the table. Okay, so the question is, of all the students enrolled in the School of Arts, responded, approximately what proportion responded that they play video games? Okay, so we only care about the School of Arts. School of Arts. We only really care about the data in this row. That's that's to start off with. So what proportion of the data in this row play video games? It would basically be just these individuals out of the total. So we would take 347 out of 793. Seven by that's 793. We get about 0.43 seven five seven eight eight so about point four three eight answer would be c Ooh, a long way. all right the pharmaceutical company manufactures medicine to reduce pain caused by migraine headaches the company is investigating whether a new medicine is more effective or in reducing pain than the current medicine. A random sample of 500 participants who experienced migraines was selected, and the participants were randomly assigned to one of two groups of equal size. The first group received the current medicine. The second group received the new medicine. When a participant experienced a migraine, he or she was instructed to take the medicine and 15 minutes after taking the medicine to rate the pain of relief on a scale of one to 10. With one being no relief and 10 being complete relief. At the end of six months, the average pain, average pain was, was calculated for each participant. Which of the following is the best description of the, of the study? Okay, so let's look at some keywords. We have a random sample of 500 participants. And each of the participants are randomly assigned of two groups of equal size. First group received the current medicine, the second group received the new medicine. So it looks like it's going to be a randomized experiment because um, we don't have that each group, each group received both treatments. It wasn't like they were switched. It wasn't like a matched pairs or anything like that. Um, so an experiment using, so it's going to be A as far as I know, but let's see, an observation, it's not an observational study because observational studies, you just look at, you just, you just observe data or observes, you know, we use record data by observing individuals. You don't try to impose a treatment. So it's not, you know, C, D, and E. This has a treatment because we gave medicine to it. So one of the patients. So it would be A, not a matched pairs again, because it would be a matched pairs if each group received both treatments. First, if like group one received the met current medicine, the second group received the new, and it will switch maybe after a few months. But it would just be A in this case. 15. All right, marketing firm obtained random samples of 20 people in five regions of the country to investigate the level of interest in a new product. Let me adjust this a little bit. Pardon me. The histogram, they, the people in the sample are asked to rate their level of interest on a scale from one to 10, with one being the least amount of interest and 10 being the greatest. The histogram show the results for each region. The graph for which region displays the data of interest with the least standard deviation. So least standard deviation. Okay, so the idea is to um, basically understand that standard deviation measures spread. So we wanna basically look at the, look for the graph that will, that we can say Logically, we'll have this least spread. So um, they all have 20 people, so we know that. So A, no, because well, because we have like a, a high density here. High, we have the value is very far apart. The minimum to the, the maximum are very far apart. I wouldn't say this one. This one, they're all equally spread out, equally distributed, like among you know five values. So it looks like it's gonna be D. See how the, this the distance from the smallest to the largest is the is the is the small is you know is the least. The distance from the smallest to the largest here is about that. Same thing for here to here. Same thing for here to here. Same thing from here to here. 
I mean, technically, you can, we can actually calculate. You can actually, since we know the frequency and the values of each one, you can actually punch the numbers in there because you can just count how many sixes, how many sevens you have, how many eights, nines, and tens, and you'll know, calculate it if you want. But you don't want to spend that much time doing it. It would be D because, again, the values are not um, as nearly as spread out as the other ones. D spread. And 16, oh man, these are a lot of reading. The transportation department of a large city wants to estimate the proportion of residents who would use a system of aerial gondolas to commute to work. The gondolas will be part of the city's effort to relieve traffic congestion. The department asked a random sample of residents whether they would use the gondolas. The residents could respond with yes, no, or maybe. Yes, no, maybe. Which of the following is the best description of the method for the data collection by the department? So they basically just took um, like, you know, a survey. They asked a random sample of residents where they would use gondolas. So um, it's not an experiment. They didn't pose a treatment. It's not like they um, had some, some residents get exposed to, you know, a region with gondolas and other ones not to. It's not an experiment. A census would involve everybody in the population. This only has a subgroup. So it's not gonna be census, it would be the sample survey. 